Thank you, church, for having me. There is just a sweet presence of God in this house. Amen. Thank you for having me. Thank you to your pastors, Tina and Jose and Tina. Um, and so I do come on behalf of the organization. It's called National Youth Advocate Program. Um, the National Youth Advocate Program has been around for over 48 years. We're all over the United States. Actually, our, our biggest um, group is here in Indiana. Our main office here is in Maryville. Um, I will be starting a brand new program under the branch of the National Youth Advocate Program, and it is called La Jornada. La Jornada in Spanish means the journey. And as your pastor mentioned, this is a journey that we're going to be walking with um, the children that are found, the migrant children that are fall, found at the borders. You see it on the news. Um, the children are held in detention centers when families try to make it into the United States. And so a lot of what you see on the media, and I'm so glad you said this, Pastor, this is not a political agenda. I promise you, I love Jesus as much as you do. This is a problem that children need to be taken care of. And so what is La Jornada? La Jornada is a transitional foster care program where these children have the opportunity to be able to place into uh, foster homes temporarily until we are able to locate their families in their origin uh, country or we can identify a sponsor here in the United States where those children can go um, and s live with their families temporarily until they're able to find um, a solution what they're going to do for them. And so, yes, the, the we have received a grant to be able to offer um, transitional foster care. And so what does that mean? And so what, means, what that means is that if you decide, hey, I want to provide a loving bed, a loving family, a home where these kids can stay temporarily until we're able to identify a sponsor in the United States, those children will not be in the care of foster, um, your foster care or anybody's foster care for more than 120 days. And so those kids would be in our care from uh, one day to 120 days. Um, the children that we are receiving, um, they are the lowest risk factors. In other words, these are children that they made it to the border and a lot of what you see on the news is not accurate. What happens is a lot of these kids, they're fleeing their countries on their own and they're making it to the United States border and then they, they have nobody or they come with relatives. So if, uh, you know, the parents can't afford them because of the, the poverty, they send them with relatives. They send them with coyotes, which means coyotes. They pay people to bring them to the border. What happens is when they make it to the border, if these adults cannot show proper identification that this child is legally their child, they don't have a birth certificate, for the safety of the child, they separate them because they don't know if those kids have been kidnapped. They don't know if those kids are being trafficked. They don't know who these adults are. Even if it's their biological parents, if they cannot show a birth certificate, the, our country is going to protect them. And so you don't, you, nine times out of ten, you won't see that on the news. That is not always the case, but that's the majority of the cases. Or the kids are making it to the border. When I say they're the lowest risk factor, it's because a lot of these kids are already coming with little notes in their pockets. Our kids are getting, they have notes on their bodies that basically say, Hi, I have an aunt that lives in Texas, and we have the aunt's information. And so those are the kids that are coming to La Jornada. For the most part, we have a contact here in the States or their family member back home, our case manager, our team together with the federal government, which is ORR, the Office of Refugee and Resettlement. We are going to be working to unite those children as fastly and effectively as possible to their sponsor here in the States. Um, and so in the meantime, this is what um, our job is. In the meantime, we provide transitional foster care. We're asking, um, and, and no offense to anybody, but this is because the kids don't speak English. We are looking for bilingual families. Um, we're looking for families that at least one of, someone in the house can communicate with the child. The, um, and so it's, 
They won't be in your house more than 120 days. You prov- and then you will receive all of the training as well. So you would have to go through um, our program, get the training, and then you become a licensed foster parent in the state of Indiana. You are a legit foster parent in the state of Indiana. La Jornada, we have to follow all of the Indiana laws and what that means and what that looks like to become um, a foster parent here in the state of Indiana. I will tell you that only five states received the privilege, because for me this is a privilege, have received the privilege and the honor to be able to service these children. Indiana being one of them, Illinois, Ohio, Miami, and Atlanta, Georgia. And so we, um, you know, and, and I'm so grateful because these kids will be going to school, not in our public school system, but in the, we have, an, we have identified a church in East Chicago, Indiana. They will be the education center. And so not only do we need transitional foster parents, we need employees. And so we need teachers, bilingual teachers. We need case managers. We need social workers, LPNs. If you speak Spanish and you are an LPN, or if you know anyone that is an LPN, that you don't necessarily go here, but you have a cousin um, that is able to get to East Chicago, Indiana, we are hiring. And so not only do we bless these children, but it's also, um, it brings employment to Northwest Indiana. Um, And so it's a blessing. Also, um, and this is always the last thing I like to mention, but the foster parents obviously will get compensated. So you receive what we call a per diem on a daily basis. And I will tell you that I have been told if anybody is a foster parent, you know, um, but what the state of Indiana gives normally for long-term foster parents, La Jornada, and this grant allows us to pay triple what a regular foster parent would get. Um, And so... Not that we do it for the money, but we do provide all the resources that you need while those children are in your care. So not only do you get compensated, but we provide the education, medical. These children will have Medicare. These children will receive WIC. Um, These children, we will provide all the the medical assistant. I mean, it's an incredible program. And I I live in Griffith. um, And I praise the Lord that God has chosen me his humble servant to be able to find homes for these children Um, i'm so excited what god is doing in the lives of these children and it's not a christian organization i'm a christian so christian lingo just comes out of me Um, it's just who i am amen and so anyway i have spoken with your pastor jose i am willing to come back on a this coming saturday at two o'clock and we can do what we call a, a potential parent orientation um, and so I can come back on Saturday and I can do a QA. and a I can answer your questions on a p- more personal level if you are interested. If there's anybody beyond the walls of this church, you have family members, friends, coworkers that you think could be a blessing to these children and be transitional foster parents, um, invite them on Saturday. Let your pastor know he will take care of it beyond me handing the mic over to him. Um, And then he'll contact me, let me know if we have anybody interested. I will come back, and as I said, I can do inquiries. I can answer your questions. I don't want to take away from the word, and so we don't have time to do Q&A right now. But on Saturday, I'm willing to do an orientation Well, I can come back um, and do a QA, and a give you more details, get inquiries, et cetera. I also am bilingual, and I speak Spanish. So if you have someone that only speaks Spanish and you feel that they can Um, be a blessing to these children. I can do everything bilingual. Yo hablo español muy bien. (laughs) Amen. But thank you, Pastor Jose. Um, And if anybody's interested, I will meet you on Saturday. God bless you all.